One million dollars in 1899 is equivalent to the purchasing power of 35 million dollars. That is a lot of money. And I wanted to see if Arthur could spend one million dollars in Red Dead Redemption 2. Can he spend that much money? That is the question. So basically, with the power of cheats, I am going to amass and we're gonna we're gonna see how ridiculous this game can really get. Two very boring minutes later. Yeah, I did not think this would take this long. Oh my god, this is so slow. Okay, well this is boring. Right, and uh, oh my gosh. One million, a little bit over one million dollars. Um, yeah, let's see if we can spend this. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move out the fucking way, please. I'm gonna stroll the city of Santony, see if I can find any shops to spend at. Um, oh, the bank. Wait a minute, this might be a good place to start. Hello, good sir. I'm looking to deposit some money. I know you bankers like that. You want, you want a million dollars? I would like to make a deposit, please. Nope. Sir? Sir, please, I want to give, I'm allowing you to hold my million dollars. Sir? Sir, okay. I guess he doesn't want that. He's probably questioning where I got the money from. You know what, let's buy some clothes. I've always wanted to buy every piece of clothing in this game. We certainly have the money to do it, so let's do it. Hopefully we can make a dent in this, in this bank account. Okay, well I have bought everything at this tailor. As you can see, I have not made a dent. Um, this is a problem. God, this is just such an astronomical amount of money. I mean, look, look at this. Look at this. Owned. 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 Like, everything I could have possibly bought from here, I have bought the store out. Yeah, like, I just... Well, hopefully you enjoyed my business. Just gave you a crap ton of money. Here, you want me to give you more money, actually? Let me just... No, I would like to put some money in your cash register, please. I have some to spare. I guess not. You know what? Let's try a movie. Going to the movie, surely that'll cost a good bit of money. Uh, two dollars? Only two dollars? Yeah, this isn't, this isn't going to work. All right, we gotta try spending like some significant money. Two dollars is not gonna cut it. I can't watch like half of 500,000 movies, okay? That's not gonna work. You know, now that I think about it, I should have a better horse than this. What, what am I using right now? I mean, th this horse is fine, but I should be like, I should be using a fine Arabian horse. So I think I'm gonna buy myself a very nice horse. See what options they have. Oh, okay, this is a thousand dollar horse. Yet it made no difference. I mean, that's like what? That's like a thousandth of my total net worth right now. Yeah, I just, I don't know how, how I can feasibly spend this amount of money. It's absurd. Okay, I'm gonna buy every accessory for my horse possible. All right, well, I've got a really gorgeous horse right now. I mean, you can tell that that's an expensive horse. But like, I'm not even below a million because remember, I actually, I started slightly above a million at one million and thirty thirty thousand dollars, and now I'm at one million twelve thousand dollars. So like, I've pretty much spent about eighteen grand at this point, which is honestly kind of surprising. That's a lot of money. But am I am I even gonna be able to spend a million? Like that just sounds impossible. All right, let's head over to the doctors. Maybe there's some really expensive medicine here or some kind of plastic surgery I can get. Okay, let's see, these are not that expensive, unfortunately. Yeah, right, so that pretty much did nothing. All right, let's move on to the next place. Okay, guys, this is actually good. I found a glitch, okay, so I'm at the gun store right now, and there is basically a thing you can do. It's not really a glitch, but it's more like when you reach the items for the engravings, you can constantly change the engraving and the gunsmith will charge you every time you change it. So I'm just going to keep doing this. I'll spend roughly about $50 per second and hopefully that'll be like an efficient way to get rid of this because I really don't know. I have so much money, I don't know what to do with it.
Right, well I did that for a few hours and I am now below a million dollars, which is amazing. All right, well, I've got all these guns. I may as well use them, so yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, these pistols are so nice. Come on, who wants some of this smoke? I've got all the money in the world. You know what that means? That means normal laws don't apply to me. I have full immunity because I'm rich. I'm an absolute psychopath. Honestly, the only reason I'm doing this is that I so that I have a super expensive bounty to pay off. Okay, well, I've got over a thousand dollars in a bounty. Cops. God damn it, do you really? Oh, you know what? We'll just pay off all our bounties. Just do it. Oh. All right, well, we've bought out this store too. I just, I don't know, like, I bought every Thing possible I could buy and I still I'm at nine hundred and ninety seven thousand dollars I don't know. this amount of money is inconceivable okay like it's just why would I why would someone want this much it's actually more of a problem than it is a good it's like oh god all right guys I think I've come up with a plan okay so basically the fences in Santony or the fence in general they tend to sell a lot of very expensive items okay so I'm gonna buy them out entirely and basically, I'm gonna see if that will perhaps speed this process up a little bit. So I think the fence is like, I think they're supposed to be like super expensive. Like it costs like maybe hundreds of dollars. I mean, that's still pretty much nothing, but at this point I'm desperate for any kind of spending. Oh, hello, sir. I'm sorry, I know we have history. I killed this guy in one of my last videos. Hello, Mr. Fence person. Yes, I'm sorry, I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to murder you. And then I murdered like a thousand cops in his store. Like, I just, I just don't understand. Like, how, how could there be this many cops? Like, I was worried that they were going to literally start piling and like making it impossible for me to leave. Oh, that was a, that was a good one. But this stuff is not as expensive, expensive as I was hoping it would be. Oh, pamphlets. Dynamite arrow. What does a dynamite arrow do? You know, I, I, I've never heard of a dynamite arrow. I never knew you could have that in Red Dead Redemption. What is this? Wait, okay, let's just, let's just try this out on this cop. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my gosh, this thing is OP. Oh, you want to come at me? I am literally immortal. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez, that is horrible. Come on, you want to do this? Oh my god. Come on then, you know you want some- This thing is so fun to use. Alright, we, we gotta go, this is becoming a problem now, I don't wanna die- OH MY GOD! I don't wanna die, OH MY GOD! You know, I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. There's literally a gang camp that I go to as Arthur, full of every character in the game, and I can invest and donate to that camp. You know how Dutch is always saying that we need more money? Money. Yeah, well... He's about to get exactly what he wanted. All right, this is where the camp gang box is located. All right, let's contribute. I think I think we'll try to donate a quarter of a million dollars here. Why not? Five minutes later. What the hell? Why, why is this taking so long? 20 minutes later. Look at Arthur, he's just, what are you looking for, dude? That bottomless pit, pit of cash inside his satchel. This looks so stupid. And done. Nice. Uh, what's going on here? Um, dude, I'm already rich. Listen, having money is not as great as people make it out to be, okay? Look, I've been trying to spend all day and I've still got only $745,000 to my name. Okay, sure, I'll give you 50 bucks. I mean, I'm already rich, but you know what? Maybe this can teach me how to lose all my money. All right, let's read this. What does this say? Okay, this is the line right here. The way we bring the coins and silver into our satchels is not through hard work. It is not through the calluses on our hands. It is not through the toil of the soil. Instead, it is through the dedication to the Bible of success. What? Yo, this is bullshit. That's all you gotta do. This guy's lying to you people. Guys, don't buy this guy's book. He's a complete fraud. It's a goddamn fraud. Don't listen to this guy. He's trying to screw you over for 50 bucks, okay? All right, guys, I spent like the last hour trying to find any other Easter eggs or any other secret ways I might be able to spend this insane amount of money, but quite frankly, I didn't find anything. Like, it's very hard to part with your money in this game. Like, 
You can only spend so much. Like, it's just, it's not really realistic to spend a million. Um, so yeah, I mean, I made it to like $744,000, which is, you know, I mean, that's not, not, I mean, that's, that's something. I mean, I spent like at least 20 grand and the other like quarter of a million was me donating to Dutch's camp. I, I failed this challenge because a million dollars is a lot harder to spend than I thought it would be. Like they would have to add a way to where we could like buy properties or something or buy businesses. This is not money that you would spend on a night out. But yeah, that was pretty much it by liking and subscribing. Thank you.